Hi guys, today in this video I am going to show you how to migrate the Active Directory domain controller from Windows Server 2016 to uh, 2019. In this lab environment I have three machines. Uh, one uh, with Active Directory domain controller which is Windows Server 2016 and Windows Server 2019 uh, which I am going to uh, add to the domain controller and transfer all the roles EFSMO role, DNS and group policy to this new server. It's a client machine, Windows 10, uh, which is verify the login server and user accounts from the domain controller. Uh, for that, these are the checklist or uh, summary of steps. Uh, and these are my machine. This is Windows Server 2016, uh, which is also domain controller. and uh, here active directory users and computers here these are the users and computer uh, this is my client machine which is connected to the domain and in domain controller container there is win2k16 which is this machine and this type is GC it means glo uh, global catalog I have already mentioned you this is my uh, uh, client machine Windows 10 which is already connected to the domain controller and this is new server Windows Server 2019 and I haven't configured anything in this machine this is just fresh here from properties you can see this is Windows Server 2019 and this is Windows Server 2016 just fit verify yeah this is 16 so go to the steps first check domain controller health first of all we need to check domain controller health from the server manager and the domain controller health should be fine it means all uh, should be green and here there is one warning or error so go to there and it says this service is stopped right click and uh, start services and click ok it will take few seconds refresh yeah it is green and no error and no warning all are greens it means we are ready to go health checkup is finished now second step check FSMO role so go to here run command prompt run as administrator uh, net dom query FSMO it will take few seconds yeah all five roles FSMO roles are in the domain controller in 2k16 we need to transfer this role this role dns and group policy to the new server so we have checked this fsm role and add server 2019 to domain controller so here and first of all we need to manage some network setting here I will use TCP version 4, IP version 4. This is my IP address fine and 195. Preferred DNS server preferred DNS server should be the primary domain controller IP address. So my primary domain controller IP address is 195. That's fine. Here we are 95. Okay and now join to the domain controller properties change and domain is demo.net this is my domain name here this is my domain demo.net demo.net okay click OK provide your domain admin username and password so 
demo slash admin I have created this admin in my domain controller uh, here users and computer users domain administrator and it is member of schema admin enterprise admin and domain admin member of domain admin enterprise admins and schema admins because of we need to prepare forest domain and uh, schema so we need this uh, three domain admins role for the user okay provide password okay okay close and restart now this restarting in meantime we will check the DNS and group policy I have created a DNS uh, DNS forward lookup zone and a reverse lookup zone this is domain and went in and these are registered to the forward lookup zone and I, I have configured this reverse lookup zone that's fine and for the group policy I have created one demo group policy yeah this is demo group policy this group policy and DNS I'm going to migrate to the new server and MSTSC win 2k19 this should be restarted now okay login using domain user account demo slash admin and password server is restarted now our next step should be transfer FSM rules to the server new server new domain controller uh, before that we need to add active directory domain services role in new server or server 2019 okay server manager is opened now go to tools from tools or from here you can uh, go from here also add roles and features next role based or feature based installation fine next and this is my new server win 2k19 next and we have to select active directory domain services select add feature next 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 and install it will take few minutes okay active directory domain services installation succeeded close and here promote this server to domain controller that's fine and we need to here's the domain controller to the to an existing domain that's fine and my existing domain is demo.net click next domain naming some DNS server and global catalog that's fine and provide the your DSRM password which you created while creating the domain controller in 2016 next next the replicate from this win2k16.demo.net this is the domain controller if you if you have two three or more domain controller you can choose from there but in this uh, a demo environment I have only one so select this one next uh, this is the location path for the ADDS database I will continue with the uh, default path next next this is the summary and if you want to see the script uh, sorry not here you can view the script from here next it is checking the prerequisites if there is anything we need to configure before the start 
it says all prerequisite checks pass successfully that's fine and click on install it will take few minutes okay the server was successfully configured as domain controller that's fine and it is going to be restarted close uh, close and it will restart in meantime we can check here in active directory users and computers uh, the system which is windows server 2019 it should be now in uh, domain controllers because of we configured as domain controller so refresh yeah there is domain controller uh, if any server or computer is promoted as a domain controller it will shows in the domain controller container if there is no domain controller just the domain member it will populate in a computer's container so we configured as the domain controller that's why it is populate in the domain controller container so it should be re yeah it is restarting and after that we need to transfer fsmo roles to the new server or uh, uh, windows server 2019 Yeah, it is restarted now time to transfer EFSMO roles five roles here run command prompt run as administrator and check EFSMO role net DOM query FSMO 